All right, let's try to rinse this thing out and not die. Hopefully we got all the power out of it. All right, I'm not sparking. I'm not dying. You see in there good? Give a good look down inside. Let's keep see what we're doing here. Wow, look at that. It's got color inside. Oh my God. I keep part of this, I think. I'm not gonna keep the whole thing, but I think a piece of this, this little plug will look cool. All right, so here we are about two days later. I got it all cleaned up and I'll tell you guys about old Hank here. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's not gonna be a welder. We tried hooking power up to it and Bad things happened. It started smoking. It, it didn't smell good. Just, fortunately, can't be a welder. And I can't get rid of it. I gotta build it into something. So that something's gonna be a cooler. It's a really neat cooler. I hope you guys can hear me. This is the third time I tried to do this with the road, and it's not working well audio wise. Hope you can hear me. So, anyways, the point is, what I'm gonna do is, I'll probably leave these front pads here. Maybe put you know little rubber pieces on it to make it smoother. Maybe cut these rears off. I don't know yet. But then I'm going to hinge it. I'll get like a piano hinge. Put here, you know, across the back of here. And then, yeah, flip it up. It'll work something like that. That's going to be a really neat beer cooler. And uh, let me show you what we're going to do with the inside here. I'm going to come get you. Cleaned up all right, but the sun's just not really working in my favor right now. There we go. Came out pretty nice. Look at the inside. Look at this. Yeah, you get a good shot of it. I mean, this thing is just, it's shot. You can't see down there too well, but it's, everything's actually, no, it's supposed to look like that, but it's not good. Anyways, look at this. See, this stuff all started melting and burning and just bad things happen. So I'm going to take all these guts out of here. I want to leave this because I really want this switch. That is just a great switch right there. So I'll probably leave that. And what I'm going to do is, once this is all out, I'm also going to leave these down here. I don't know if you can see them. Here's a better shot. I'm going to leave these because I want to leave the front pieces to be able to plug the wire in once I cut it. I'm going to put insulation around here and then I'll get uh, like a sheet metal break and just fold up some square metal for the inside of this thing. Let me show you here. I'm trying to move. This does not like this angle. <laughs> but I'll put the metal, you know, around here. I'll leave a little gap on each side so I can insulate it with styrofoam. We'll just use a little sheet metal break to bend it around. Probably leave this part obviously thicker because i got to leave this here. I gotta leave those bolts here, but yeah, once I take this stuff out, this stuff literally weighs 100 pounds, probably 150 pounds. It's ridiculous, but I'm thinking what I'll do is once I cut the wires down, yeah, you know, I'll leave them plugged into a couple of these things and just maybe put a hole in the side to run them into or something. So it just you know it still looks like a welder, but yeah, I gotta take these out. These literally are 100 pounds. The thing's got steel wheels on it, and when you drag it, you can feel the ground vibrating. It's crazy. So I don't know how I got to do this. I don't know if I got to take this this body off or hood, whatever you want to call it. I don't know if I got to take this off to get that out, but it's bolted from the bottom. I might be able to take that metal meshing out of the bottom if I flip it. Just drop the insides out, but I'll just I'll cut these off, and I might even ground these down a little bit. Well, I, I can't because I got to leave this here anyway. So, yeah, this is going to be a really, really cool-looking cooler, I think. Thinking that piano hinge right across here will work perfect. You know, it'll tilt like that. It's going to be really neat. I'm going to leave this here so I can leave the cord hanging out of the back. Got that all cleaned up and cut. So anyways, that's the plan. Um, I don't know exactly how I'm going to do it yet. I've, I've got a rough idea. The stuff I showed you was a general idea of how I'm going to do it, but it shouldn't be too bad. I'll go to Home Depot. I'll get some styrofoam insulation. I'll cut it to fit whatever, and then uh, I'll get a piece of sheet metal. we got a sheet metal break at the shop. I can bend out. The metal, I'll make the inside box, I'll, I'll weld it up so it's nice and, you know, so it doesn't leak. I'll weld it up nice, make a little insert to slide right in there. Might even put like a little drain on it, like a petcock, petcock or something, so I can drain the water out, you know, just make it even neater. I don't know. So, that's a rough idea. I figure I'll make some videos, some clips as I'm going, and just take you guys for the journey. I think it's going to be really cool. i got to figure out what I'm going to do with the wires. I've cut them down to length. Maybe I'll put a little hook on the side to hang them or something. I don't know. I'll leave what I got left of the power cord hanging out the back, and we'll figure it out. I think it's going to be really cool. It'll be the coolest cooler in town. <laughs> but, yeah, stay tuned for more videos on that as we transform this welder 
which you probably can't see because you're facing the wrong way, into a cooler. Hope you guys think that's a great idea. If you got any ideas, some comments, suggestions, please just leave it in the comments below. Like I said, this is, it's uncharted territory. You know, they don't make a, a Marquette welder to cooler rebuild kit, so I'm going to have to think up, fabricate, you know, design, fabricate everything myself. So if you guys get any ideas or suggestions, just leave them in the comments and, you know, I'll consider anything because, like I said, I really don't know what I'm doing. But, yeah, I think that'll be pretty neat. I'll make some videos and just stay tuned for more clips of that. I hope you guys enjoy the, the idea. I'll give you guys a nice moment of serenity here. Hold on. All right, today's moment of serenity is just going to be a look at it because it's just a beautiful piece right here. Get out there and discover your world. You never know when you'll have a crazy neighbor trying to build an old welder into a cooler. You might have that crazy neighbor. <laughs> Thanks for watching, friends. Have a great day.